Hello. A very good afternoon to you. Who's this? My My name is Russell Masick. I'm calling you from the investigation officer from UPS. Did you speak to any of my colleague today? Yeah. Okay. Now, we got the information that you send the money through UPS. Is that correct? Yeah. You are not aware that you cannot send a transaction or any money in a UPS package? Mm, well, yeah, kind of, yeah. I did know. They told me. Do you know it's a money laundering act? You can be charged and a claim against a money laundering act? Well, they, well, no. If you want, you can Google it. Any money sending through a UPS or a FedEx is known as a money laundering act under section 9, clause C. So exactly can you tell me, let me just confirm first the tracking number, which is 1ZY36Y. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And you were sending this package in the name of who? How uh, are you related? Uh, uh, um, uh, she, she's a friend. She's a friend. Yeah. So you are sending money to her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a medical. Why were you... What? What? Why, why were you sending this money to her? Uh, it, it was to help her out with uh, medical bills and. Now, what do you want? See, there is two ways, okay? I'm going to be very open with you, this conversation. Okay. You need to let me know what your decision and what you're planning to. If you want this package, first of all, it is next to impossible that you're going to get this package back. You okay. cannot go to court. You cannot go to law. You cannot go to Federal Bureau of Investigation. Because if you go there to claim this package, you are the one who's going to go ahead behind the bars. I hope you un understand that and your head is clear towards that, right? Well, didn't didn't the guy before tell you that I was just on the phone with the FBI? And they said the... the well, and what did the FBI? Yeah, they're, they're going to release the package tomorrow or Thursday. They have some investigation work to do, but yeah, they're going to release it back. Because I didn't know it was, so, I didn't know it was classed as money laundering, because I was sending it to a friend in Peru. So, uh, I they said I should have just sent it by right. bank transfer. So, so what me, happened? Why you didn't send the money? Why you didn't send the money to a bank transfer? Because they didn't want me to. They wanted me to send cash. Okay. Did you spoke to that lady before sending the money that you're sending it through a FedEx? Yeah, I spoke. Yeah, she's my friend of like 10 years. Now, once you receive this package tomorrow. Yeah. Are you going to send the money back to her? No, no, definitely not. You're not going to. Okay. But your name has already been claimed for a money laundering act. Huh? Your name has already been assigned for a money laundering case. By who? By the UPS investigation officer and the investigation department. Oh, well, that's by the UPS, but not by the FBI. So the FBI will probably get that changed, maybe. What they're going to change? Well, if if the if if the FBI deemed that it wasn't uh, money laundering, then UPS can't consider it as money laundering either. Otherwise, that's uh, how can FBI can how how can I how can FBI cannot claim this as money laundering because because I didn't know it was, uh, I, 
because I didn't know I was you didn't you 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 didn't know you didn't know that doesn't mean that is not a allegation if you don't know that doesn't mean that you are not guilty yeah but an allegation not, yeah but an allegation is only an allegation if if proven but that's, to that's be already innocent been it has, it no, has it already hasn't. been proved no it hasn't I'm getting it my money back true. no I'm getting my money back so it has have you got your money back I'll have be you get, got your money back? Yes, I'll be getting it tomorrow or, or Thursday, yeah. Are you sure? Yes, you they sure? told me. Do you yes. know with whom you're talking? Yeah, Do you know well, with whom you're talking? Well, you're the lead investigation for UPS. If I want, I can stop this money right away. How? I can you, stop how? this money right away. Do you work for the and FBI? I'm going to escalate. I work for, I'm, I'm the investigation officer for UPS. Okay, that's just UPS, not FBI though. So if I give the proofs to FBI that yes, you did a money laundering act, can anybody stop it? Can anybody deny on that? Yeah, I, because well, yeah, when I can you deny send it, yeah. Package, when, when you send this package, you gave your information as well to send this package. Yes. And you knew that there was money inside because yeah. it was in a safe box. Yeah. When we scanned it, we found it that it was, there was a money inside that safe box. So you cannot deny that you didn't send the package. It how, was how did you know there, you... how did you know there was money inside the in inside there though? Because we have a tracking system of scanning. I'm sorry, what your line package. your line's broken, what? We scanned that package, and in the scanner, it came that there was money inside the box. What was it wrapped in? Pardon? So what? What was else? What else was in the box? Inside the box, we know we can only see that there was money inside the safe box. You wrapped it with you wrapped the money with something with a paper, and then you put it in the safe box, and then you put the pen. And then I put the pen. What, what? Well, what was? What else was in the box? We didn't open the box because there's a lock in that box. There is a pin. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. So we can only scan the box. When we scanned the box, we found that there was money. We didn't open the box because it's already pin locked. We cannot open the box. When we scanned it. We found that there was money inside that box. Do you need the pen to unlock the box? Well, you don't even have the box. The FBI has the box, so. I know that. If I give the pin, if I give the information to FBI that there is a money inside that box. They already know the that they, they, they already know there's money inside the box. And they also know that you were the one to send that money. Yes. I'm under investigation, but the, uh, uh, it's been no further action. So I'll be getting my money back. I just have to go to my local department and uh, retrieve it either okay. tomorrow or Thursday. Okay. So you now, you, you have no just... you have no legal ground as a UPS agent um, to mm -hmm. say anything else because I know from the FBI. I am getting my money okay, back. Do one so... thing. Do one thing. Okay. Do one thing. Do one thing. Make a note of my number first. Make a note of my number. Uh, what's your number? I don't have a pen. I mean, I don't. Yeah, what's your number? Masic. How do you spell Masic? Hey. Um. Hang on one second. Um. M e s y k. Yes. Okay. M E S Y K. Yes. So you have my number. Okay. Yep. Yep. Give me a call if you receive the package tomorrow. Why do I need to call you? You. I, because, I don't. I don't need to call you. Because I know you're not going to get that package. I know, I know I am. I've been told I'm getting the package, so. 
FBI until unless we give the instruction because that package was good, going to get delivered through us. So FBI, before delivering the package to you, they are going to contact us. And I'm the one who's going to tell them that I'm package. I'm sorry, your line's breaking up you again. That? Your line broke up again. Can you hear me now? Uh, Can you yeah. hear me now? Yeah. You just told me what is the need to give me a call, right? Yeah, because you're only an employee for the UPS. You will give me a call because you will need to give me a call. For what? Because the package is only been waiting for my instruction whether to deliver that, whether to give that package back to you or to seize that package. Because you wrap that money in an envelope and a silver foil, okay? And when the courier people, how, how do you know? People, you how do you know? How do you know it was in silver foil? You said you didn't open it. You, UPS. you said you couldn't open it. So how did you know it was in silver foil? Do you know UPS has a three-way scanner which can scan everything? Oh, I like it. Do you know there's way. a machine. Yeah, I like it. Yes, there was a three-way scan. Yeah. So where yeah. else? So where else was it wrapped in? Uh... It was a money put in, in the envelope, and then there was a silver fall. Now we also have a video evidence. When the courier people ask you what was there, you told it was a book for the children. Yeah. But there was no book, so you also lied. Yeah, I've told the FBI this, yeah, I know. So, now the FBI can only release the package if I say release it. If I say hold it and seize the package, they will seize it and you cannot claim the package. That's why I gave my number to you because tomorrow or Thursday, when you don't receive the package, definitely you will ask me what to do in order to get the package. Okay, so what? So, if I don't get the package, what do I need to do? Now, you are very confident. You are very confident right now because you have spoken to FBI, so you think you're going to get your package. Yeah, back. I know. I know I'm yeah. going to get my package, yeah. They told you me. You are sure that you're going to get the package? I they am, told you, right? I, I so am 100% sure. Them. Okay, that's wonderful. I like your confidence, Paul. Let's see whether you get the package tomorrow or the after tomorrow. I okay. gave you time till Friday, but till Friday you will not get the package. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go and collect it tomorrow then, yeah. Go and collect it tomorrow because you're not going to get the package until unless I tell them to return the package to you. Okay, and if, they, I'm not and if, if, the and if I'm to... okay, and if you're so confident that you're not going to tell them to return the package to me. What do I have to do for you to get them to release the package to me? That is a different thing. Because right now I need to break your confidence because you're so overconfident that you're going to get the package. But oh. I know my way of work. Okay. So I know that package is not going to come back to you. Okay. And... What? 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 If you want, if you want your package, give me a call tomorrow at nine thirty a.m. in the morning, when I will not be in office. When you, well, give, if you don't call, give me, you a call at nine thirty when you're not going to be in the office. Did you just say? Yes, because I'll come late tomorrow. I'll come by eleven. So what's the point in me ringing at nine thirty then if you're not going to be there? I will speak to you at nine thirty tomorrow in the morning. If you want your package, give me a call. You've just you said you, you've you're just said get your package. Make your mind up. You've just said you're not going to be there at nine thirty. You're going to be there at eleven. So make up your there mind. There is something you... which I need. To, there, there is something which I need to do unofficially, so I cannot present in the office to do that. Ah, okay. So what's that? I'll tell you tomorrow. If you call me at nine thirty. I'll help you unofficially, you will get your package. But if you don't call me, if you think you are confident enough to get the package from FBI, 
which is Federal Bureau of Investigation, you yeah. can try your luck hard, my friend. Very hard, yeah. Okay. I'm feeling very confident right now. You are confident. No problem. You can try your luck then tomorrow. Okay. I know you're gonna give you you're gonna knock at my door to get that package. I will why where do, gonna... where do you live? Where do you live? Pardon? Where do you live? Uh, if I need to knock at your door, where do you, where do you live? Knock at the door and give me a call and my number. Knock on what, my knock on what door? Knock on what door? You're not making any sense. Give me a I'm saying knock at door means give me a call and my number. And you're, you're okay, I give you a call on the number and, and then knock on the door. My number, are you dumb? Uh, no, are you? Are you? <laughs> Try your luck hard. If you give me a call by 9.30 a.m. tomorrow in the morning, we will talk about getting the package safely to you. If you don't call, I'll take it as a no from you. If, you well, if, if, if I don't you. call, if I don't call, that means I have my package. You are not going to have your package. That is guaranteed. <laughs> okay, well, we'll you're not going to have that package. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll see who calls who then. Yeah, you'll find it tomorrow morning. Okay, uh, well, give me a call tomorrow then. I will give you a call. Okay, thanks, Russ. You're, you're going to call me now? Okay, you call me then, yeah. You are going to call me at 9.30 in the morning if you want your package. Oh, I'll, I'll, have, my, I'll have my package at 10 p.m. tomorrow. 10 p.m., no problem. Then forget about this conversation. Okay, I thought you were going to get my package on hold, though. I will. Oh. Not hold. Your package will get seized. Seized? Yes. From where? UPS? You'll come to know everything tomorrow, my friend. Just wait for tomorrow. Okay. I'd like to see your confidence getting breaking, broke down. Okay. Okay, thank you, my friend. Thank you for uh, the the, uh, the warning there, son. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. You're always welcome. Okay, thanks, Felicia. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, so the next day, um, I called Mr. Russell back um, and told him that the FBI wouldn't release my package because he has told them to put it on hold. Um, and this is how he told me how to get my package released. Um, so let's move on with the next bit. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes. Is that Russell? Yes. Who is this? Yeah. This is this is Alan. Yeah, Alan. Tell me. Yeah. You. We. We spoke yesterday. I know. I remember. Yeah. Uh. Did so. You called the FBI and told them not to give me my parcel back. Did you got your parcel back? No. I know you wouldn't get it back. Yesterday so, you were so confident that you're going to get it back. Yeah, because the FBI told me they were going to give me my part, my my money back. Yeah, but now they've so told me. It. Now they've told me that they 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 can't give me it back because UPS. Uh, huh. the I told to... you FBI also before sending that package to you. FBI needs my authorization. So that I will tell them to release the package. It was not your fault. It was somebody who tried to send the money. But you were trying to act so overconfident yesterday that you were thinking that you were going to get the package. That's because so, the FBI told me I was going to get the package. I wasn't trying to be confident or cocky. I was just trying to, I was trying to explain you to you. Were, what, no, no, no. You were cocky and you were confident yesterday. No, I, no, I, sir, I wasn't cocky. I, I promise I wasn't trying to be cocky. I was just trying to let you know what the FBI told me that I, I could get my parcel back on, on Wednesday or Thursday. But when I went to pick up my parcel today, uh, they okay. said the, the UPS guy uh, has 
has put a hold on it and they they won't release it to me until um until they get in touch with you or something i guess so what do you want from me now uh i need you to get in touch with the fbi and get them to release my package my what money i benefit with that uh, I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're just such a nice guy. Uh, yeah, you 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 have a good life, and you're you're the yeah. I I just need to get my. That money is not back. going to help. That is not going to help. It's when I said it's yesterday, at my when I it's when at I my, said yesterday yeah that I'm going to do it unofficially. That means there is something you need to do in order to get your package. Not only your package, even if you're confident about your right now. I can help you and put you behind the bars for doing a money laundering act and sending a, in cash the dollar. Even oh, if well, you please, have a confidence please, in that. Please, but... please, please, please. It's at my humble request. Uh, can oh. you just get my, my, my package, uh, my money released from the FBI? Not it's only a... releasing your money, FBI. Huh? I will help you only in one situation. What I need, you will also have to give me that. Okay, what's that? I will let you know. Let me just get out from the step out from the office. I will let you know. Just give me half an hour. Oh. I'll call you right away. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, th you. Yeah. You're such a, a kind, honest man. Thank you, um, Russell. I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, Russ? Russell? Yes. Hello? Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I missed your call. I was on a, a conference call with, um, uh, yeah, my, my uh, friends. I'll talk to you later on. I'm a little busy now. Oh, so why did you call me then? That time I called, you didn't receive my phone. Ah, uh, because I was on a conference call. It wasn't my fault. No problem. We'll talk later. Oh, uh, what? I have to go out later. Oh, what a little shit. Um, what a little shit. Um, so yeah, he's basically blackmailing me. Um, saying that he is in touch with the FBI. And they're not gonna release my um my safe with uh, thirty thousand dollars in. Uh, okay, so let's go back to Mark. Tell Mark the bad news. Hello, Mark. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um. He said he's gonna call me back later. He said he's too busy right now, he so said. he's he's gonna call me back later. All right. Uh, is FBI is giving you the confirmation? Like, are you going to get the? Well, the yeah, the, the, F there is... the FBI said that they were yeah. going to give me my money back. And when I spoke to Russell yesterday, Russell from mm -hmm. the the UPS uh, senior security I department, right, yeah, right, he, he said um, he is going to tell the FBI to stop and put my uh, my package on hold. So I won't be able to um, to get my my package back. Um, okay, no problem, sir. I will put a mail email to the uh, to the higher authority. All right, to yeah. look onto your case so you can get it back as soon as possible. The only thing you just need to pray is uh, Mr. Russell give the confirmation to FBI. All right. Well, do you want? You do, you want do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to speak to Mr. Russell and see what we can sort out? I can maybe try no, 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 no. I, a call. I'm no, no. I am in a direct contract with him. All right. He is my senior. All right. So I okay. directly called him and uh, I will just talk to him. We simply be uh, be in touch with uh, Mr. Russell. All right. He is the only person who can help you to get your money back and whatever he will see after that, after receiving the package. You just need to follow him, all right? Okay. All right. 
so uh, i uh, like uh, fbi told you you will receive the package so did they give you any deadline for that like when you can receive it no well yeah they give me they said they were going to give me it today but mr russell um he's whatever he said to them they won't hand it over so, now all right so like if you if you will go to fbi like uh, to their office they will give it to their to you there or they will just simply send it to you in your address Huh? How they will give it to you? I don't know. How they will give you I, the let, I don't know. This is why I said should we, you, you need to talk to Mr. Russell and see why they're not going to give okay. me my package. So if, all right, all right, if, all right. if you're in touch with uh, Mr. Russell, give him a call and find yeah. out why he's told them to not give me my package back. Until Mr. Okay, Russell okay. tells them to give me I, my package I, back, I ain't going to get my right, package. I'll just... I will simply request him to help you out, all right? Okay. Please be in touch with him, and whatever is happening, you just need to let me know as well. Okay. And I just want to tell you one thing, like, you called FBI today, and they told you they will give you the package, right? No, I called the FBI yesterday. They said that they were going to give me my package back today or tomorrow. So uh, I went to the FBI's oh. head office today. Um, All right. And they said that Mr. Russell had been on the phone, um, and he told the them to put the package on hold. Um, so it's all in the hands okay. of Mr. Russell now. Okay. FBI told that they want to talk with Mr. Russell, right? Yeah. No, Mr. Russell needs to speak to them. All right. And, I and release the uh, package to me. Speak. All right. Uh, and I do believe you have the disclosure form with you, right? Well, no, they because they haven't. Dis uh, what? No, no. The disclose. You, you told me that you have the proof the of the package. They have took. Uh, they took your receipt of the UPS. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They yeah, gave the, you the. Uh, they they gave you the disclosure where the money is written, right? Now, how much money was in? Yeah, so it's thirty thousand. Right? Yeah, thirty thousand. Thirty thousand or twenty three twenty three five hundred, sir. <laughs> How much uh, is there? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, twenty-three thousand five hundred. Yeah, that was it. All right. So it's written in the disclosure form, sir. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't have it to handy, but yeah, it's just it, no problem, yeah. no problem. So, sir, uh, can you please tell me one thing? At at what time till what time you be available on your uh like landline number at your home? At what time normally? Uh, well, uh, what do you mean? I mean to say, I mean, to, when you come to office every day, like you are at office now, right? You're talking yeah. to me with your office phone. So I'm just asking you the office hours. Like when I will call you, I need to talk to you. I need you to be available to give you the updates regarding that and take the updates regarding whatever I need from you. So that is the reason I'm asking you the timing. Like if I know that mr smith is available now at uh, at this time on which number he will be available so i can call you up and i can take and give you the updates regarding that yeah so normally at till what time you be at home every day sir? i am at home my my home is my office all right you work from home so yeah. you have got two numbers at home right yeah i have one in my office and i have one downstairs yeah Okay, so this is a cell phone or a landline you're talking from, sir? The landline. It's, it is also a landline. Yeah. That is also a landline, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Not a problem. So I will just request Mr. Russell to help you out to get your package. But FBI told they will give you, but they are just, uh, they want a confirmation from Mr. Russell, right? Yeah. Did you told, uh, did you told anything to FBI regarding Mr. Russell? No, Mr. Russell said that he spoke to the FBI, not me. Okay. But today you went to the head office of FBI, right? Yeah. The FBI, okay. FBI and what the time... Better Business Bureau, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, at what time you been there, sir? What time did I go there? Yeah. Yeah, I went at 9.30 this morning. 9.30 this morning, all right. And, uh, like, once Mr. Russell will tell, they will give you the package, right? Yeah. 
Okay, okay. I'll just ask him to tell him, tell them, and you see, you just need to simply talk to FBI and just, uh, just you. I'll just tell you, sir. I can guide you with one thing, only one word. All right, that you just fight for your package and get your money back, sir. Okay. Okay. No yeah, need to I, be, yeah, no need definitely. to worry. Uh, we are with you. All right. You have got the disclosure form. You just tell them everything has got investigated. All right. It's, it's been a mistake from me. Just give me my package and my money. It's yeah. my heart and money. All right. Yeah. And just get it back. My heart all and right. Money. Mr. Russell will do it. Yeah. Mr. Russell will t uh, help you out. All right. Mr. Russell will help you out. I will help you out. But in the field. Uh, up front, you just need to talk them. You are the person who can get the package. Sir. Well, Mr. So Russell, he, he, he's, he's not being very helpful at the minute. He's just, when I spoke to him before, he was pretty annoyed that he said he tried to call me. I was on a conference call. Um, yeah, so... I understand that. I will give you, the, I, I will give all these updates to Mr. Russell. Mr. Uh, Smith, I will say him that uh, Mr. Smith was busy on a conference call. That is the reason he couldn't able to respond to the call, sir, and kindly help him because he went to the FBI office. They are just hello. What happened, Mark? The line got disconnected, sir. Okay, oh, Mr. Okay. Smith. Yeah. All right. I'm giving you the assurance, sir. I will talk to him. I'll just make confirm that he helps you out and he gives the concern to the FBI so you can get your packet back. But I just tell, I just told you, you just need to fight for your package. You have got the disclosure form, all right? Yeah. Just go every. Well, can you can you can announce. you can you give Mr. Russell a call now and tell him that uh, he needs to tell the FBI to release my my package? Yeah, yeah. I'll just call him sir now, all right? And then then After ask him. Two yeah, minutes. yeah. Then ask him to call me. Yeah. I, I'll just I'll just tell him. All right, sir. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mr. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I just had a word with Mr. Russell, all right? Yeah. And he just told me he will only talk to you, all right? Okay. That on your on your landline number, not or not on this number, because that number is registered with our company, not this number, okay? He's only authorized to talk to you on your landline, home landline number. Uh, okay. Does he, does he know my landline number? Yesterday he had a word with you on your landline number, right? Yeah, well, which which number was that? Because I have two numbers, so. Okay, just hold on. I'm just going to tell you, sir. It's three three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I'll pick his call. Okay. All right. Okay. On that number. All right. Yeah, okay. Be there. All right. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Is yeah, this, this is Russell. Yeah. Hey. yeah, this is Russell. Hey, Mr. Russell, how are you, how are you, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. What about you? Well, I'm I'm pretty stressed out that the uh, FBI won't give me my package until they get your say. So. FBI won't give you a package, and FBI can also bring you in the cell and put you behind the bars for doing a money laundering act. So now do you understand my power? Yeah, you are like, yeah, like the Superman of all Captain Heroes. Yeah. Yes, you can also call me Superman now. Yeah, Superman, yeah. Okay, now here is the point. Now here is the thing. Here is the deal. I'll only give you once. You take it or leave it. It's your decision, okay? Okay. You Anything will have you your say. entire package. Back. Now you will have your entire package back, which is the money. Yeah. Your name will be clean from the UPS. There will be no record in the UPS. I'm going to remove it from the UPS portal that you made right. and you send any package from UPS. <clears throat> so your name will be clean. Your package will be returned back to you. But for that, I need a ten thousand dollars from you. How much? Ten ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Yes. Oh my lord. What's that noise? It's just a printing fax machine. It's which a what? Is doing the noise. It's a printing fax machine. A printing machine, which the noise is coming from printing. 
Oh, it's very loud. Ten thousand dollars? Is this legal? You're thinking about ten thousand dollars? Huh? You're not thinking about. You are thinking about ten thousand dollars. You're not thinking about twenty three thousand five hundred, because we also know how much money is there, because we have broke the safe box. You could have. You could have. You could have just asked for the pen. I would have give you the pen. No. Now there is twenty three thousand five hundred, and the second thing is that your name, which can be a a big threat in your life, because you send that package. Yeah, that wasn't so my fault. That wasn't my fault. That was the the guy from the thing. Whose fault was it? Whose fault was it? But the guy from the Norton told me to send the. Do you have any proof that he he told you? Do you have any video or any audio call recorded? No. Or any conversation recorded? No. So who's going to put a the blame then? You are the one who see. I'm all, I'm talking logically, okay? Yeah, okay. So I will take you out of this without even damaging your reputation and your money. It will all be returned back to you. Oh, well, okay. So it's going to cost me $10,000 to get my twenty three thousand five hundred back, and your name as well. Why? What's happened with my name? Your name will be cleaned because in future nobody can, uh, you know, come and threaten you or claim you that you send a money to a UPS or did a money laundering act. So we will remove your name from there as well in the UPS portal. In the in the what? In the what's a portal? In the UPS system. Oh, this your know, system. Okay. So how do I get this ten thousand dollars to you? You can send me wire. A wire? Uh, okay. Yes. Going to the bank. You can send me the wire. Okay. Is this gonna go straight to you? Absolutely. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Um, how am I gonna get your details? Uh, can you email me them or something? I'll give it to you. I will text you. I will give it to you in writing. All you want, I can send you email as well. Okay. Email. No, email won't be possible. I'll. Uh, you can write it down in the piece of paper if you want. Um. Okay. One second. Let me get a fresh. What's the time right now when you watch? Uh, it's five thirty-four. Today you won't able to do the wire. So give me a call tomorrow morning, sharp at nine thirty your timing. Huh? Give me a call tomorrow sharp at nine thirty. I'll give you the wire information. You can do the wire tomorrow. Well, if today you it won't be possible because the bank will. Yeah, but if you give me the information now, first thing in the morning, I can get up and go and do it straight away. I'll give you in the morning. It will take five minutes to give you the information. Okay. You call. You will call me from this number. Yeah. I'll receive your call. Okay. So are you expect are you accepting the deal or you're not accepting it? Let me know. Well, yeah, I'm accepting the deal. Yeah. Give me a call tomorrow at nine thirty. Then we'll continue from there. Okay. Thanks, Russ. Uh, bye bye. So kind of you. Thank you, Russ. My pleasure. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, Russ. Russell. Yes. Yeah, it's Alan. I know. Tell me. Uh, yeah, you said uh, to give you a call today. Um, I need to get try and get this ten thousand dollars to you. Um, and get my name uh cleared from the UPS and get my package back from the uh, FBI. Okay, I'm gonna give you the information. Just bear with me for a moment. Okay. I'm really, really sorry about uh, all this, um, all this no mess, problem. this this mess that's gone on this week. Um, I should never have tried to send money through UPS, uh, and I, I I've learnt my lesson now. Um, 
I was crying really. Bang to bang with. Huh? Which bank to bank with? Which bank to... I'm sorry, you, you sound muffled, I can barely hear you. Which bank to a bank I'm with? I'm saying which... Yes. Uh, bank, bank of America. I'm going to give you an account information. You need to go to the Bank of America and just tell them to wire that money okay. on the information which I will give it to you. Okay. And if they ask you to whom are you sending, what will you tell them? Uh, well, I, well, you're well, you're my really good friend. So, um, you're yeah, you, yeah, my really good friend. Okay. I, I I believe over the last few days we've we've become really close friends. Mm. Now, do you have a cell phone? Uh, no, sir. No, I only have a landline. Okay. Now, once uh, when once you do the transaction, they will give you a receipt. Ask them to send you a receipt in your email address. Okay. Okay. Uh, because I'll need that receipt. Okay. Well, I'll definitely get them to email me the receipt. Are you at your home right now? Yes, I'm calling you from my, my home, yes. Okay, uh, you have a computer, right? Yeah. Okay, just switch it on. Yeah, it's already on. I was... Uh... Mm -hmm. Now, do you see any icons uh, known as any desk? Uh, no, I believe when that guy... Uh... Send me the information that any desk wouldn't work. Uh, I think he used the uh, is it the the, t the team viewer or something? You have team viewer? No, uh, I think that's what he used though. I want you to open any browser. Okay, uh, one second. Let's see. open Google. Open open Google Chrome. Okay, Google. Okay, yeah, I have that. Google open. Now on Google Chrome, type www. www. A as an apple. A as an apple. And as in November. Oh, you want me to? So basically, is this the the any desk thingy? You don't have to spell yes, it. Type any desk dot com. Okay, just type any desk dot com. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So it's it's still saying the same as when uh, Stephen was doing it. Uh, bad getaway. Uh, four oh five. Uh, so it's a white page that says uh, bad getaway four oh five. This is why he had to do the the team viewer thingy. Okay, time to down, down, download Team Viewer. Okay, one second. Okay, Team Viewer. Uh, and then hit the f download for free button. Yes. Okay. Give a double, give a double click on that. Uh, it's still download, and it says seven seconds, six seconds. Uh, now my computer says, "Do you want to, do you want to run this file?" Yes. Click on Run. Run. Okay. Alan? Huh? Click on run. Yeah, I heard someone call on my name. I heard someone saying my name. Just hit run. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, so it says Team Viewer License Agreement. I accept it. Click on ne agree and next. Okay. Yes, I accept. Okay, uh, a box is typed up with your ID and password. Uh, Just tell me the ID. Just tell me the ID numbers. Uh, the ID numbers. Just bear with me for a moment. Oh, okay. You went quiet. I didn't know what was going on. You need to just minimize everything and then just log in into your bank. Uh, mi minimize everything but log into my bank? Yes. Well, if I minimize everything, then that means I have to reopen everything. 
Yeah. Just logging into your bank of America. Okay, now you have in your personal checking seven thousand. Yeah. And in your you don't have ten thousand. So where will you do the transaction of ten thousand? I I have the ten uh I have ten thousand in cash in my safe. In safe? Yeah. Do you want me to transfer the fund in your checking and make it ten thousand so that you can do it from there? Uh yeah. Uh yeah, you can do yeah. Okay. Hold on. Uh okay. Now if you can see your account, do let me know. Yeah, I can see my account. Yeah. Okay, now ten thousand is already there and I'm gonna give you the information. I want you this is your home phone or this is your cell phone? I don't I've already told you I don't have a cell phone. This is my home phone. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the information. I'm gonna type it in the notepad, which you can make a note of it, and I want you to go right now to the Bank of America and do the transaction. Mm -hmm. As I say, I'm uh, I really really do apologize for being so rude to you the other day. Um, no I, it was the Your apology has been accepted. Yeah, the FBI did say that they were they were going to release my my uh, my package, but obviously you being in the the higher authority from the UPS, um, yeah. When you go to Bank of America, when you do the wire, ask them to send you the receipt in your email, okay? Okay. Yep. Now you can see I'm typing down the information. Um, one second. Yeah, I see that. And you won't share this information with anybody. You won't tell them that you have given me $10,000. If you tell them, if you, if, if you give the information, then I have to back out from this. Okay, so this is this is your information. Yes, this is an account which belongs to me. So I'm okay. giving a safe account so that my name won't be there. Okay. And make sure you don't share this information with anybody. No, I I won't. And what is the time right now? What is the what is the time right now? Uh, Eleven twenty-four. I want you to come back anyhow by before twelve thirty. I'm doing this transaction. Okay. Um, so how do you pronounce the name? You start writing down the information. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, that's why I ask you the name. Uh, just in case they ask me, do okay. I know this person? I can say, yeah, I know, I know uh, this. Uh, so it's uh, West Bank. Pardon? Is it you that's on my computer? Yes, I'm just typing down the information. Okay, well, someone's trying to make the it bigger. I can see it like the way it is. It's fine. I make I'm making it big so it's 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 easy. It's visible to you nicely. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. I can I can see it nicely. No, I'm typing it. I was waiting for you to write down. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm just sending an email to my director. Just hold on. I'm just sending an email to somebody. Okay, thanks, Mr. Russell. I'm just typing down the email. Okay, thank you, sir. Hello. Yes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm typing the information. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Now I see. It. Hello. What are you saying? Yeah, I I, I got that yes, now. What are you saying? I got it. Yeah. I, I okay. Have. Now I want you to quickly. Yes. Now I want you to quickly go to the bank, do this, and just come back and give me a call and ask them to send you the receipt in your email. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then will you call the uh, the FBI and release my package? Absolutely. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll call you back as soon as I'm back, Mr. Russell. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Have a great day. You're welcome. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, here's Russ. Hello? Yes. Is that Russ? Mr. Russell? Yeah, this is Russ. Hey, yeah. how are you doing? Everything okay? Everything is okay. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm perfect. More than great. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's amazing. You went to the bank? Uh, well, no, well, uh, I went to, when I got off the phone with you, um, 
the the FBI called me um and they said they were releasing my package um so okay. yeah I I went down to the the headquarters and yeah I I have my package back um so yeah uh, that's good that's good that's good you yeah package, right yeah it's it's amazing you think I'm stupid right you huh? think I'm stupid right what you think I'm stupid right what you mean why did I took the control of your screen? Why what? did I took the control? I was not interested in money. I was interested in your computer's IP. Now where I took out all the information of your computer. Thank you very much. Now rest, you can take care of yourself. I knew that you were going to act smart in front of me. That's why when I took the control of your computer screen, I took your IP address from there. Now I know what to do. So, what, are you, what are you talking about? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You're very smart. Very smart. You think you're very smart. You think you're going to fool around with me and I'm going to entertain your shit out of it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not so easy. That's not so easy, bro. You're funny, you. That's not so easy. You're funny, you. I know I'm funny. No, you're... you're, you're I know you're, I'm Yeah, you're a band show. Did you know that? You're a backward show? Hey, backer, Chod. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Pardon? Chod, Chod, Yasala. Ronde Kabacha. What? What? What are you saying? I said you're a Ronde Kabacha. You're a son of a whore. Chod, Chod, Yasala, Gandu. Tera Maka Bull Sarike Mother Chod Chutia Gandu Eh Beggar Boy Chutia Tera Maka Chuda Tera Deka Vikagal Palitra Computer Randi Laraka Yeah Randi Laraka Randi Laraka Chutia Chitya Russell. Russell is a Randy Kabacha. Russell is a Randy Kabacha. He hung up. Yes. We got Russell. We got Russell. We got Russell. Hello. Hey, Ross. How's it hanging? Oh, are well, you upset? No, no, not at all. Yeah, why, 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 are you, why are you so upset? I am not upset. Why will I be upset? Why? What? You sound angry. Why are you angry? No, no, no. The things what I required from your computer, I got it. So I am not angry. No, you Which, didn't. You didn't get anything okay. from my computer. <sighs> oh, as if you think so. No, I haven't got anything from your computers. I, I, yeah, I know you haven't got anything from my computer. Uh, yeah, so how, how does it feel? It feels awesome. I'm here used to it. Yeah, I know you're, you're used, used to it. To yeah, yeah I, th I thought you yeah. deserved a taste of your own medicine. You came on, you were like, Eh, hey, I'm Russell from the UPS Security Department. I, yeah, you, mm -hmm. are you shit. You're nobody. You're somebody who's in Delhi, uh, probably Sector 5 or something like that. I am from Delhi Sector 5. You can come and suck my, can come and suck my dick. Oh, no. Well, I was going to let my mum do that. But if you want me to suck your dick, if you're gay, okay, I'll come and suck your dick. I'll come and suck every okay. two, two millimeters of that small penis. Uh, <laughs> no problem. You'll come to know, you'll find it, whether it's small or it's big. It's small, yeah. And Well, I know it's small. Your mom told me it was small. She's here right now. Hey, I don't have that much of time to talk shit with around you. Fuck uh, off. Oh, what? what? Oh, don't, don't be so nasty, Russell. <laughs> Everybody get your fucking hands up.